This is a Light Stanza video on the IES file editor in Light Stanza and how to fix issues with families coming from Revit or when you import IES files. So here we have two issues. We can see in this model we have this red icon which says hey the IES file may be inside of your fixture geometry and this yellow icon which says hey there may be a surface close to your IES file. So we can go ahead and we're going to fix the downlight first. So let's go look at it inside of the room. We'll click on the calc view location in 3D. So we can see that the IES file is inside of the ceiling and it is rotated. So to fix that, we'll go over to the downlight. We'll go click on the IES file, view edit IES file. And this is the IES file editor in light stanza. So we have a couple options here. We have light source, we can change the light loss factor. We have the power multiplier and we have some keywords. So over here in the viewer, uh, we can see that it is in fact rotated inside of the geometry. So to fix that, we can go ahead and change the IES rotation. The Y is at 50, so we can just put it at zero, and now it's straight down. The IES position, we'll go ahead and just lower the Z height on that, and there goes away the icon. So now we can see that it's correct. And the little blue thing, you see, the little blue circle here is the luminous dimensions. You can change this. It is read from the IES file. Sometimes those aren't always correct, so you can change that if needed. So we'll go ahead and save this. And now it's correct. So and if we zoom in here, you'll also see, you can see the luminous dimensions on the, each fixture. So it's helpful to understand if your luminous dimensions are incorrect. And looking in 3D, it all looks good, and there's that little blue circle. So we'll go ahead and now we're going to fix the linear family. So we will go ahead and select the linear. And all we have to do is lower this to, to not be close to a surface. And now it's fixed, but that might not be the height that you want it at. So to get this at the correct height, what we can do is we can go out to lighting plan view. We can go ahead and draw a section. and we can see those light fixtures right there, and we want to put it at this ceiling height. So I can manually enter in the feet. I can also go up here to the drawing movement snapping options and change the increment from one foot to 0 0.1. And now when I have these linear selected, I can press control up and they will just go up and I can just get them aligned how I want them to be. And now if we go back to the plan view, we can see that those air icons are gone. And in 3D view, those lighting fixtures are correct.